All right, list payments. What do we get here? What you get is a chronological, easy for me to say, a chronological listing of all the payments that you've uploaded. Now, we track our payments, every check. We scan it before it gets a signature. So we have a check register so we can see the face of every document that we've ever sent out as far as payments go, as far as checks go. I also track wires and I also track uh, ACH or other kinds of payments that are strictly for accounts payable. Don't do any of it for payroll. That's a separate ledger. It's a separate place. It is a, um, a stack that's collected inside the, uh, inside the payroll software. So there's no reason to keep redundant documents. That's all inside our payroll software. Whatever payroll system we're using, those guys do a really good job at it. I don't see any need to do a duplication and sit there and do the data entry. This provides a list of all the checks that we have scanned into the system. Now, these items that have vendor not attached, that just means there's three checks that are still sitting in the accounts, uh, I'm sorry, in the entry payments module. And you'll see that there's three listed here, and that's what those are. So if I go back to the list, I go back to payments, you can see those three items are here. I can see them in just a minute, actually. I'm gonna go look at these two documents in detail. That's the first one that was entered, the WGA. This one is that Panavision check I just clicked on that was in enter on payments. So when I go back to the previous option or the previous item, I can see that this check has been tied to these invoices. Those invoices will, sh or this check will show up against those invoices inside the accounts payable module. If you have data binding turned on and it's binding against this check. So this is nothing more than a list. You can add some information to your text layer if you need it. It'll strip the text layer off of the face of this PDF, assuming that you ran OCR across it or it was generated in a PDF generator like Excel or Word or whatever. It has both an image layer and a text layer embedded inside that PDF. So that's what the text layer is. We didn't run OCR on this face of this check. Doesn't exist, nothing there, that's why. But I can add to it if I want. I can click edit. I can add whatever information I want. Can't think of what information I would put into a check except maybe an insurance claim. Just proof of payment for what we paid. If I ever wanna see that information, I can get it from the search on the front page or on the list page. So within the detail, I can save, I can print, I can blow it up, I can shrink it, whatever I need to do. Now, I said this in the PO list module as well. The printing from the image often doesn't work and it's because of the security that's built into your browser. Some browsers allow it, some do not. Even the same browser on different computers, sometimes it'll allow it to work, sometimes it will not. So if you're encountering a problem where you can't print it, the workaround for me is I just download the document, I save it somewhere, and then I go into the caret and I pull up that document and bring it in here and then I click print and it will send it to whatever printer I need to have uh, where I want it to live. So that's how that process works, a little workaround. So let's get out of this guy and go back into our list. You can move this guy around by the way. This button lets you see it in full screen mode. Not sure why that is helpful, but it's available. If we wanna go back to the list, I see everything that's in that list and I can search against the details of what is inside the check, uh, the check list, list payments module. It's payments because it's not just checks. We do, I do wires, I do ACHs, I do all of it with accounts payable. Uh, you can search by these data fields. The default is check number and vendor name. That's how we get everything that's already up on the screen. And you can narrow by account that you have already entered in or assigned to these checks. You can see that operating and payroll are in there, but I don't typically scan payroll checks. I just put it in because that was an account that we had already set up. So we put it in for this particular company and this project. That's it. That is the list payments module.